Today I will show you how to create a movie poster in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to create interesting movie poster for a gravity movie or something like so. So what do you need to create a movie poster? Well, obviously you need to create interesting eye-catching image that will represent uh, that movie that will tell some story and you need to put some text on it, the name of the movie or something like so and that's it, you have a movie poster. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, today we will create our movie poster from few different stock images. This is the first one, then we have some stars, then we have some explosions, astronaut in the space, we will just extract this guy here, then we will have a satellite image and some movie poster credits. Alright, to start we need to create a new blank document. To do that just press Ctrl or Command N on a keyboard and I will change some uh, dimensions here. I will put 1100 by 16 whoops, 1600 and I will leave 72 dpi pixels per inch resolution. That's nice. Now we have a new blank document. All right, and let's just go back to our space. Where is space, space, space? This is space. And just move this space image here. Press Control Command T and rotate this. Make it a little bit smaller because it's too big. Something like so and press ok for now let me see uh, we can move it sorry not crop it we can move it a little bit like so then we need to get rid of this white space we can do that in a two different ways we can create a new empty layer use b for a brush and just sample with alter option key sample this color from uh, background and then just press alt or option key with the backspace and fill this. Of course, we need to put this layer below, below our space image. Okay, and let's name this planet. Okay, and that's one way. Another way how to do that, I will show you really, really quickly. Use this rectangular marquee tool and just select everything, okay, behind the moon from uh, to the left. And that's it. Now press Control Command T and just move everything to the left and press enter when you're finished. That's another method how you can do it. It's okay because the background is really black. All right, now I will use the first method and I will select, select those two layers and press Control Command E to, to merge those two layers down. All right, then we need to put here another image. It will be the Milky Way, our stars. Okay, just move it here. And of course, I need to rotate it again, Control Command T and just rotate it something like so. And I will put this image in a screen blending mode because screen blending mode will uh, make everything that is black invisible. And we want that. That's really, really great. But we have a problem here. We don't want our uh, Milky Way to be uh, to be covered, actually Earth to be covered by a Milky Way. So we will make a layer mask. Just click here use B for a brush and use black brush X on a keyboard to swap the colors here. Use black brush, 100% opacity and just erase parts that you don't need. It's so simple. Okay, let me see. That's really, really nice. Okay, the next step is to load our hero to the scene. Let's go to the astronaut. Let's find astronaut, it's here. And just to save time, I already extract him from a background. I, I use the pen tool here and just go and trace with the pen tool all around him. Okay, and make a selection. And now I have him extracted from the background. I will click, right click, apply layer mask because I want to get rid of everything except him. And I will put him in the scene here. Okay, obviously he's too big. Control Command T to make him smaller. Okay, he'll be somewhere here. I think this is pretty, pretty nice. Maybe a little bit more smaller, but something like so. We will see later. Then let's go to where is it? Oh, it's here. Satellite image. 
okay and from this image i will use only this part of the satellite and i will extract this the same way i did with the astronaut guy okay p on a keyboard for a pen tool and just press click 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 it's really really easy this is the easiest selection that you can do it's straightforward and when you're finished you can do two things you can press ctrl or command and enter to make a selection or you can right click and go make selection you can choose the feather radius in this situation i will do zero and press ok then go to the layer mask and that's it the same way i did with the astronaut all right and i will again right click and press apply layer mask because i want to get rid of everything except this selected part so let's put this here in the scene and i want to rotate this i want to flip it horizontally like so yeah and i want to rotate this part to to have this brighter part down down below right and i don't know i'll put it somewhere somewhere here for now okay and what we need next we have this explosion part right so let's move this whole layer into the scene here and control command t again a lot of control or command t today and just rotate it something like like so maybe make it smaller we will see but for now let's press ok and of course we need to put this into screen blending mode to get rid of this black color but before that i want to create an, one curves layer and to clip to this layer and let me show you i want to clip these black colors a little bit more to get rid of these small details small white details something let me see something like so for now it's okay right because it's this is too much i don't need so much white details something like so it's okay and then i will select both layers press ctrl command e to merge them together I will name this, this explosion. Okay, woo, Cyril. Let's change the keyboard. Okay. And then I will put this in screen blending mode. And this is where the magic happens. So we need to put this behind the astronaut. Let's name here him. Uh, okay. That's nice. This is explosion. This is part of satellite satellite all right and we need to make this maybe just a little bit smaller maybe it's too big let me see something something like so will be okay okay i like i like it yeah something like so it's okay all right the next step will be to match the colors of all elements in the image to have the same tonality so let's do that all right, let's start with this astronaut guy here. He is completely out of this image. He has a lot of reddish and magenta tint in it. So we need to match his color with, for example, planet Earth color. If you watch my tutorial about color theory, it will be really easy for you to do that. If you forgot how to do that or you didn't watch this tutorial, I will show you now pretty quickly. But here is the link. You can watch tutorial about color theory to know a little bit more about that. All right, for that I will just select astronaut image, go to the curves and clip the curves adjustment layer to the astronaut to affect only this layer down below. All right, and if we, I already said, he has a lot of reddish magenta tint in it and we will go just in the red channel and pull down the red color and as you can see, that's it. It's almost done. We can go to the blue channel and add a little bit of the yellow here. And the next step, what we can do is just go to the hue and saturation, clip it and lower the saturation on this guy. And then go back to the curves and we can add a little bit of the contrast here because he needs to have a little bit more contrast. All right, for now, that's perfect. The next step, what I want to do is to go down below the astronaut over here, but I want to put the satellite below the astronaut too and to create a new solid color layer. And I will choose this dark blue color, something like so, or even more darker. All right. As you can see, this color, it's really, really nice. 
a nice fit for, for this astronaut. But I will change the blending mode from normal to exclusion, All right? And now we have even better effect. See, from this to this, we can make it even darker, something like so. And let me see before and after, before and after. That's really, really great. Then let's go here to the stars. Let's name this stars, okay? And I will use again hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it and click this colorize button because I want to colorize the background and I want some bluish tone, something like so, maybe to lower the saturation a little bit down. And that's that's really nice. We can colorize the explosion too. We can colorize these um, explosion parts to a little bit more bluish tint, All right? Clip it and colorize, go to the blue tone and let me see just a touch of blue. Let's unzoom it, maybe it's too much. Something like, like so, before and after, yeah, before and after, and that's great. Let's just move this guy a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but maybe it's okay. Let me see. That's nice. The next step will be to add some motion blur to this explosion and that part of the satellite, so let's do that. Okay, go to explosion layer, go to the filter, blur and motion blur. Wow, now it's too much, but it's really interesting effect. We only need a small portion of that, maybe five, six, I don't know, five pixels. It's really nice. Let's change the angle, something like so. And let's see a six, six, it's okay too. And let's go to the satellite again, filter, blur, motion blur, and the satellite will near. We'll need a little bit more amount, something like so. Let's change the angle, maybe like so. And that's nice, that's really nice. All right, guys, we can do something fun here. We can duplicate this explosion tab, right? And go to this first one and go to the filter, blur, motion blur and just blur it a lot and change the angle, something something like so, it's not bad at all. And we will lower the opacity, like maybe 20 or so. That's nice, just a touch. All right, and we are almost finished. Just the next step is to merge all layers together into one and to apply overall color correction on that and that will be it. So for that we'll use shift control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac and we have now merged all layers into one. And now we will go to the camera row filter to finalize our image. So go to the filter and camera row filter and here is where the magic happens. Okay, first thing what I want to do is to put a contrast on it, a lot of contrast like so and a clarity. It's really nice. Then I want to change the temperature to this uh, of this image. It's a lot of blue color here. I want to make it warmer, something like so maybe. It's not bad. And now I want to add some vignetting. I will add a little bit of vignette here. I will make it rounder. What I mean rounder, let's let me show you. I want to make rounder like so and I want to feather feather this a little bit, maybe not so round, something like so. And then I will go to the split toning options. I will put a yellow, yellowish tone in the highlights, something like so, and some bluish tone in the shadows. And I want a lot of blue tone in the shadows, something, something like so maybe, All right? And we can go here to the hue saturation tab and go just to the saturation and lower the saturation of the oranges just a little bit something like like so and go back here and we can make it even warmer right maybe a little bit magenta but that's depend of the taste something like so and let me see clarity that's really nice let me show you before and after before and after, really, really big difference and really great effect. Before and after, before and after, and let's press OK. I really like how this image 
looks now, right? And the next step, of course, it's to add some text here. Okay, let's go here to, 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 to this after credit, no after credit, but the poster credit scene, uh, scene, poster credit text. Okay, let's load it here like so. And we need to invert it, control command I, because we don't want some black color, we want white color. And that's really, really nice. We can move it, put it all the way down like so. And we need a text T for text and just type some text. For example, we need white color, of course. And let's type gravity. Let's use a big font, gravity, like so. And let's change the font. For example, let's, let's use, <laughs> Let me see, no, 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 this one is nice, but I don't want to bold, I want regular, like so, press OK, and Control Command T, I want really big font, like so, and I want to do something else, just select the text, press Control Command T again, and you will have some character dialog box here, and I want to uh, have a little bit more spacing between the letters, so I will increase this to 200. That's great. Right, let's hide this. And let me see. This is really, really nice. We can select both of these layers and go to the move tool and now just align them together. That's nice. Okay, or all three layers and then just align all three layers. Now the gravity and this uh, poster credits are in the middle of, of the document. And that's basically it, guys. We have really great and in interesting movie poster for our Gravity movie. So let me see just before this global color correction and after that really nice and interesting effect. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. Of course, this is just one way how you can create a movie poster in Photoshop and you can create the same movie poster, but maybe you can add a little bit more elements or you can type a few more text in it. You can type maybe main actor's names or you can color correct it in a different way than I did in this tutorial to have your own color correction, your own signature on the top of it. Have fun, experiment, practice, you will achieve great results. So if you have any questions at all regarding to this episode or some suggestions for future episodes, leave them in the comment below. I will be glad to answer them. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye. This image from we which only take this astronaut here. Okay, okay.